Oh yeah. Let me put this pizza away. Gotta do the video. Forgot. <laughs> What's going on guys? This is Burrs. Today I'm gonna show you a $35 nuclear biological chemical suit. Now a lot of people out there will store up stuff for every single scenario that's possible. I really don't believe in that. I believe in like uh, set it and forget it. So I wrote an article on my website called the 8020 uh, prepper rule or something like that. And in regards to that, what I'm saying in the article is, you know, you gotta prepare for things that are gonna happen 8% of the time, natural disasters, etc. You can't prepare for everything because the most important item you have is your brain and being able to problem solve when a problem happens. Now, with that being said, there are things that have happened in the past, in the recent past. We had the Ebola uh, outbreak that happened a few years back. Now we're talking about nuclear weapons and all kinds of stuff right now. So getting something that is relatively cheap you can afford it, like a $35 NBC suit. It's something I think is a good addition to uh, like a disaster kit like I make. You guys have seen that in all the disaster kit videos I've made. So let's get down to the items. So what items are you gonna need? Let's take a nuclear attack for instance. If you're within a 60 mile radius, people are gonna say 20 miles, 30 miles, I'm just gonna say like 50, 60 miles, uh, you're gonna want to have some kind of uh, a suit on to stay away from the particulates that are falling out of the sky. You have 15 to 20 minutes to get out of that range, um, the direct range. So what you're going to want is something to uh, to cover you up, and something you can take a, uh, take off afterwards, dispose of it, and all the uh, particulates that fell out of the sky if you were involved in that. So you don't need too much to actually get away from that. The radiation you're not going to get away from the radiation. You can get away from a certain kinds of radiation, like the uh, the uh, nuclear iodide. Uh, radiation that's out there, but you're not going to be able to get away from all the radiation. The suit's not going to protect you from that, nor is pretty much any suit that you have going to protect you from that. So you got to take that in consideration. Even if you buy the military suit, you're not going to be the ones that are out there for hundreds of dollars. You're not going to be protecting yourself from the radiation that is surging through everyone's body. So again, 80-20 rule. What's something you can get that can keep the particulates off of you? But at the same time, what's something you can wear that can keep biological things uh, off of you, uh, like a Ebola outbreak, if we had a, a large scale uh, outbreak like that, or something in regards to uh, you know biological outbreak, uh, biological attack. What are what's something you can wear that can take care of that as well? So what I found through doing my research is a Thai Chem. Now Thai Chem is a Dupont uh, chemical suit. These are, I believe, the base layer is Tyvek, but they have a coating on them that will take care of up to 40 chemicals if you buy this yellow one right here. The yellow one is what they call their QC, I guess it stands for quality control, and they take care of about 40 chemicals. Um, this is gonna be more than enough in regards to a nuclear uh, disaster of some sort, keeping particulates off of you. You can scrub down before you uh, take it off, etc., etc. If you want to go a little bit more, you can spend $10 more, or around $10 more, and get their SL suit. This will take care of 120 chemicals as far as uh, if they spilled on the suit, etc. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more hardcore, spend 10 bucks more. This QC is around eight to 10, 11, 12 dollars, depending on where you find it and the sizes. This uh, SL is around 20 dollars. So up to you which one you want to go with. I feel secure with either one. Uh, for uh, what I'm doing again the 80 20 rule comes in now those suits come with a hood and uh, it's kind of like a onesie if you will and What I bought on top of that is some Tyvek booties you can throw over top of uh, Of your boots or whatever you're you're wearing there so you can throw these on top These are about 350. I'll put all the links down below to all this stuff These are about three dollars and fifty cents. You can throw them over top double protection on your feet, which is really a thing that's gonna need uh, a good amount of protection because you're gonna be walking through stuff. If you get a hole in one of these, you know, it's kind of making the whole thing useless. So $3 for a little extra protection on the feet. Next up's gonna be gloves. You're gonna want a good glove. I found these on Amazon, and these are a nice, thick, but yet tactile glove. They come up a, de a decent amount on your, uh, your wrist here. I'll give you a look-see. So they come up about halfway. Uh, on my forearm, so that's good. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put this on and then use some duct tape. I got some contractor grade duct tape right here. 
uh, get some duct tape and tape off those areas so that nothing can get into the suit. Now here's where a lot of people differ. Some people say you need military grade gas masks and, and all that stuff. And for chemicals like sarin and, and chemical attacks, you, you probably do want that. Um, but is that something that's gonna happen? The likelihood of that happening is probably low compared to some other you know, issues that are out there at the time, at the time, which is right now. Uh, what I have here is a P100, which is uh, a little bit more than an N100 uh, respirator. And what this does is this also resists oils from penetrating through the respirator. So P100 mask is about $8. You can go ahead, use this. It's gonna keep the particulates out, uh, out of your uh, respiratory area if you have a nuclear issue. It's also gonna keep all that biological stuff away from you. So for eight bucks, you can't go wrong. And then one of the more important things is your eyes. A lot of stuff can get into your eyes and infect you, uh, get into your eyes. You only got two, so you wanna make sure you keep them in an emergency situation. So I got some 3M splash proof chemical resistant uh, goggles here. These were around the uh, $4 mark. And uh, let's throw it all on now. See, so as you can see, it fits pretty good. I am six foot, 210 pounds. And this is a large for this Tyvek QC suit. It fits well for me. I, I wouldn't go any larger than me in this suit though. It's pretty, I don't wanna say it's snug, but I do have jeans on, a t-shirt on. You could still wear something else under it. But if you're taller than six foot, I would definitely go with the extra large. Now, I couldn't zip it up all the way because of the microphone being in the way. You can get a good idea what this suit's gonna do for you. You're gonna wanna take the tape and put it around all the seams, like around where the gloves are, around where uh, your, your Tyvek booties are gonna be. You know, it's gonna make a real good suit for 35 bucks. So if you guys are looking to get an NBC suit, you don't wanna spend, and not the radio, not the TV station, nuclear biological chemical. <laughs> if you want to get a real cheap $35, you know, put together kit, I mean, there's other stuff out there. If you go on Amazon or different sites and you find other things that are cheaper or ones you want better, by all means, go ahead and purchase them. But for 35 bucks, I don't think you can beat having uh, this type of suit in your disaster kit. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys have ideas and stuff, go ahead and uh, you know leave your comments and better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. This is the fun part. I gotta be like Martin Rings and like dislocate my shoulder to get it off. <laughs>